running? Why are you running? Les Canadiens de Montréal are looking absolutely incredible. I don't care which division your team is in, who you cheer for, who you hate, you cannot deny that these guys are balling right now. And considering that the Montreal Canadiens have never won a Stanley Cup, I really think that the fans of Montreal deserve to get their first Stanley Cup ring ever this year. Like, don't you guys agree with that? <laughs> But seriously, this team looks like it has everything, okay? You've got the center depth, the forward depth as a whole. You've got an incredible defense. Colby Armstrong said it on the broadcast yesterday, and it got me thinking. He said the Habs have the best defense in the league. And I'm like, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, they've got Weber, Romanov is coming up, and then I'm looking at Petrie, who's okay, Petrie's real good, even Sherrod is waking up there, and I start thinking about it, right? And I'm like, holy, maybe they do. And I'm watching the game yesterday, and granted, it was against the Edmonton Oilers, right? I mean, right now, the Edmonton Oilers, they look like Stephen Hawking could play better hockey than them right now. But still, this Habs team is really, really good. And I know it's only, what, three, four games in, but they're awesome. And honestly, I'd say they're for real, even if it's just four games in. Because I've seen teams get hot. And teams that are not necessarily good consistently, like solid foundational teams, but just teams that get hot. Anybody can get hot, okay? But these guys have the markings of a team that's going to be good for a long time. They have the good foundational pieces, and they play the right way. And Claude Julien, he got a lot of flack, but at the end of the day, he is an incredible coach, and he has this team playing the right way. And Nick Suzuki is an absolute stud, okay? He is going to be your number one center. I know KK is off to a bit of a slow start, but dude, yes, Barry Kotkaniemi, we saw what he could do in the playoffs last year. He is a fantastic player. He's going to come around. He's going to be awesome. Guys like Tatar, one of the most underrated players in the National Hockey League. Drouin is having a bit of a renaissance season. Brendan Gallagher, you know what you're going to get from him. He's going to like literally walk into the front of the net. He's going to get punched in the face 63 times. He's going to come right back every single time. He is such a dog, and I love it. And then you got your Josh Andersons, your Tyler Toffoli's, even your Yoel Armias. Like, this team has so much forward depth that even Corey Perry's playing a role up in the press box. How much popcorn can I eat every single night? Like, dude, the depth is incredible. And then in net, you know who impressed me? Not Carey Price. Carey Price, we knew he's a god when he wants to be. He's awesome. It's Jake Allen. Jake Allen was absolutely phenomenal yesterday, okay? And I know he's just a backup, but he's got to be one of the best backups in the entire NHL, man. And the fact that you got Price, who's not going to have to play 8 million games this year... That is such a relief, not only for Allen, but for Price as well, and the entire team, man. I mean, if you could do a split where it's maybe, what, there's 56 games, so maybe, what, maybe 35 and then 21 for Allen? How awesome would that be? I think that would be great. It would give Price some rest since he is getting older. Uh, Allen, some great reps in the net to help prevent some carry Price injuries that we've seen in the past completely derail the Habs. But that's another thing. This isn't a team that's just completely reliant on Carey Price anymore. Habs fans, you remember a few years back when this team was just just garbage, trash shoot defense, and it was just like praying to God, praying to Jean Beliveau that Carey Price would stop the puck. This year it's different, man. This year every single player is worth the salt on their boots. That can't be right. That's not the saying, is it? Salt on your boots? Worth their weight in salt. Yeah, that's better. That's it. Every player on this team is worth their weight in salt. And, dude, the Habs are better off for it. And, yes, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to say these guys are cup contenders. Not in 2022. Not in 2025. Right now. That's just my take on this thing, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Habs fans and fans of other franchises, try to be objective about it, okay? Don't just be like, oh, Habs suck, Habs have always sucked, because you're a Leafs fan, you know what I mean? Like, try to be somewhat objective about it, and uh, how do you see the Habs faring this season? Where do you place them in the North Division? Okay, I want to see that. That's going to be interesting stuff. Like this video, subscribe if you're new to this channel, or if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.